What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an update on LCID stock. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with the fundamental news uh, that might drive the price of this asset. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here, right after we had this massive movement to the upside and we had first retracement that hit the golden pocket range. Statistically, it is the most probable range of trend reversal and we have uh, this bounce uh, to the range of about uh, one, uh, $12.5. And uh, my main assumption was that because of uh, this uh, bounce of uh, the golden pocket range, we might hit some higher target and then we should go lower. And as you can see, it happened exactly as I predicted, because uh, uh, we don't have any proofs uh, of uh, the rumors uh, that was uh, the driver of uh, this uh, movement to the upside. And uh, let me remind you that the main rumor was that the PIF fund, uh, Saudi Arabia Public Investment Fund, will buy all the shares that they don't own right now. And it is about 30% uh, of uh, the company and uh, definitely this uh, was the main reason why we had, why Lucid had this uh, massive spike in its price for uh, about 100%. So, and let's continue with the fundamental news. Uh, let me show you that in general we have quite a decent uh, movement to the upside uh, for the last session. And the main reason of this is uh, the uh, Federal Reserve for interest rate hike. And let me quote you this. Federal Reserve raises interest rates uh, another 0.25% to highest since October 2007. And this brings uh, the benchmark rate to a new range of 4.5% and 4.75%. In its statement on Wednesday, the central bank acknowledged uh, the slowdown in inflation as the Fed continues to assess the impact its interest rate hikes uh, have had on consumer prices over the last year. Uh, speaking in a press conference on Wednesday, Fed Chair Jerome Powell was somewhat more optimistic on the outlook uh, for inflation, saying, we can now say for the first time that the disinflationary process has started. And definitely it is the, the main uh, bullish catalyst for the entire market. And because of this, uh, we had uh, this spike in price of Lucid, but this spike uh, wasn't so high, especially it doesn't have enough volume to sustain its movement to the upside. And from its uh, lowest point uh, at $11.12 to its highest point at uh, $12.13, it gained uh, about uh, 9%. And it is uh, less than 10% uh, of its entire movement that we saw just uh, several days ago. So, let me show you other news uh, that might be a catalyst. Uh, uh, first of all, let me show you this article on tpranks.com and uh, it says four reasons to sell Lucid stock, according to Morgan Stanley. And let me show you that uh, just uh, several days ago, uh, Morgan Stanley lowered the price target of Lucid, set the underweight rating and uh, uh, set the price target uh, at $5 instead of $10 mark, which implies uh, 41% of downside potential. And uh, this article describes why Morgan Stanley analyst Adam Jonas think uh, that uh, this asset uh, might uh, break its all-time low. So, I will put the link on this article in the description below. It is quite interesting article and I have to say I partially agree with it. And uh, let me show you that, uh, in my opinion, we have to wait uh, its official earnings report and it will uh, be disclosed uh, on February 22nd, 2023. This means we have uh, exactly three weeks uh, till it happens and uh, definitely uh, this might be quite interesting earnings report because we have to know why they are still collecting uh, all the vehicles on their parking lots. And let me show you that uh, uh, on February the 1st we have the latest uh, flyover uh, on the Lucid uh, Motors plant. And uh, right here, as you can see, we have uh, three main spots that are full of vehicles. This is the first one, and as you can see, uh, there are plenty of vehicles right here. Second one is right here. It is two spots that are still collecting vehicles. And uh, I have to say that the total number of vehicles, if uh, we add uh, 
even this one, the latest uh, spot. And as you can see right here, we have plenty of vehicles uh, on this spot as well. And in my opinion, Lucid collected about uh, 2,000 vehicles uh, that should be delivered and uh, they cannot, uh, I don't know why they are not delivering them because in general it will uh, reduce uh, its uh, income in uh, these uh, quarters in uh, Q4 2022 and uh, Q1 2023 and uh, definitely because of this uh, we might see more bearish pressure on this asset. On top of that we don't have any uh, announcements uh, on their official uh, Twitter page and uh, without news uh, we cannot uh, rely on any rumors uh, that are circulating right now around uh, Lucid Motors and I have told you in my previous video that uh, these rumors should be proved or disproved by officials from uh, public uh, investment Saudi Arabia fund or from uh, the C executives and I think Peter Rollinson should say something about this but uh, unfortunately we don't have any information so and let's continue with the technical analysis but before we dive deep right here please subscribe to my channel hit notification bell and hit the like button this helps me a lot so guys I have to say that uh, because of this movement to the upside uh, we had uh, quite high levels of all the indicators that should be unloaded and uh, we can see right now this movement to the downside and uh, right here as you can see we broke the golden pocket range pretty much retested from the bottom and uh, we retested uh, basically twice and uh, if uh, this candle and I have to say that this is quite bearish candle let me show you more thoroughly this candle at this uh, top is quite bearish it is a shooting star and it has quite high volume and because of this, uh, we might see the movement to the downside, especially if we will take a look uh, on other uh, EV manufacturers. And uh, we have uh, the bull run from the very beginning of uh, the year till present day. And uh, in my opinion, we have to see this pullback for entire market because the tax, the end of uh, tax lost harvesting also drove for the price of entire market higher. And uh, right now, right after Federal Reserve disclosed its information about uh, the federal the interest rate hike we might see the relief uh, in uh, this uh, bullish pressure and we might see the pullback and if this pullback happens definitely this asset uh, will continue to form its lower highs and lower lows and uh, from this point uh, from the january 27th it is in consistent downtrend with quite low volume so, what should you do if you want to enter the position? In my opinion, uh, we have to wait uh, and I think we have to wait uh, till their earnings report and uh, it will be on uh, uh, February 22nd. And uh, this earnings report uh, should disclose more information uh, about their plans and more importantly, it should disclose the information about uh, their results uh, for the full year 2022 and Q4 2022. And in my opinion, because of uh, this uh, number of uh, vehicles, they basically can prove that uh, they can uh, increase uh, the production rates, but uh, it is still not enough uh, to compare even with uh, other EV manufacturers except Tesla. But still, the main catalyst for this asset should be not only the increase in production rates, but also the increase in demand on their vehicles and the deliveries themselves. And because of this, we have to be very cautious until the earnings report and uh, the next range where we might land if this asset breaks the 0 0.786 Fibonacci retracement level at $10.59 mark. And I think it will break it uh, in a matter of next couple of sessions. It will hit uh, the uh, next range of support at $9.35 and probably it might hit even $8.61. This means from this point, uh, this asset uh, should uh, lost at least 11% uh, in best case scenario or in worst case scenario about 27% of its value. And somewhere here in the ranges in between uh, $8.6 and $9.3, it might have uh, a bounce uh, to the upside. But everything definitely will depend on the upcoming news. And in my opinion, with the lack of news, the only way where this asset might go is only to the downside. So, I think from the technical standpoint that's it for now. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye!
rock star in this life, gonna live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna get caught up in this life. I'm crazy, I'm 